Ooh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Sunday Best, um, your favorite weekly news comedy podcast uh, by your favorite South African comedians, Gavin Kelly and myself, Ishuru Jensen. How are you doing, bro? All good, bro. I'm all good. Episode 16, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see. Today you can see it's a Sunday by looking at, my, at our eyes, bro. <laughs> yeah, we're not all we're not all there, guys. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll get through this it's, together. It's a legit Sunday morning, bro. It's a legit Sunday morning. How's your week? How's your weekend, bro? Weekend was chill. Oh. Didn't do much. Um, yeah, man. I had a okay week of comedy. I did a couple of gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're out in the streets. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. nice. One in the kitchen again. Bedford View. I was, yeah, yeah by this, Bailey's. Eh? I remember I, I headlined it. Bailey's once. How was how was it? How was it turned out? It was alright, man. It was a small little crowd. It was cool. I did Royale on Thursday. That was a vibe. Wait, the strip club? Nah, the bar in Craigall, bro. <laughs> oh shit, that's that's the only Royale I know. <laughs> yeah, my career hasn't gone that direction yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you, bro, uh, yeah. you were telling me yesterday that you got jacked, jumped, attacked. Yo, dude, TV look, I don't know if you can see my <laughs> my nose is <laughs> my nose is slightly <laughs> swollen, you, bro. What was it? Xenophobia, uh, racism? What happened, bro? Uh, I don't know. It was I don't know. It was an alcoholic mugging. It was an alcoholic <laughs> mugging. That's what it was, bro. <laughs> an alcoholic mugging. An AM. <laughs> yeah, dude. You know what's crazy? So. No, we had an Uber van, bro. And as we're going to the Uber van, these dudes are like, don't go there, don't go there. And they're following us saying that the whole time. And I had a bottle of I had a bottle of tankerine in my hand. Yo, this was a turn up. Uh, Damn, bro. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was. But... We were celebrating and then, uh, uh, birthday, anniversary. What's going on? No, we're celebrating my job. I got a, I got that job, by the way, bro. I remember oh, I looked... drop mic, yo. Cool. Yeah, cool, cool. yeah, yeah. Congrats, so congrats. I'm, actually fly- I'm flying to PE this week, bro. Which the is gig dope. is in PE. Yeah. Is it that one? No, well, the no, the the training is in PE. The office is based in Midrand, but I'll be I'll be going to PE quite often just because their factories and stuff are all there. Cool, cool. So okay, so you're celebrating good dope. times and then crying. Good times, right? Walking out and then yeah, trying to get Africa. to the Uber van in of night. This guy's like, "Don't go there! Don't go!" There. Just before I get to the Uber van, guy grabs the tankery out of my hand and he smashes one punch in my face. <laughs> But I Yo. fall back like I was shocked because I fall back and then, luckily, like I had this like you know that black coat thing that I wear and I, and then these shorts that had zips and pockets and all of that. So for someone to grab shit out of my, they'd literally have to like search into me. So as I fell, my brother quickly pushed and punched that guy away. Another guy punched my brother in the face on the right, and my brother pulled me and we we ran into the Uber van, bro. We jumped into the front. <laughs> And no, and I'm bleeding, bro. I'm fucking blood everywhere. Oh, My lip is busted. And luckily, they didn't take anything, bro. So, but the one friend of ours, he who was a bit ahead of us, he got jacked. His stuff got taken, and he, so he got him and another friend. They jumped out of the Uber van, searching around the area to look to see if it had fallen because we we're ringing it and it was, it was still ringing. And we found a cop car, bro, like doing the rounds around the area. Yeah. When we told the cop car, the cop car is like, yeah, it's because I even showed him the blood. He's like, yeah, no, maybe you guys, maybe you must guys go, must go to the hospital first, get checked, and then you can come report a case. I'm like, ah, hey. these guys don't give a shit. Bro. So <laughs> we just bounced home, bro. Hey, South Africa police. Yo, yo, yo. There's so many questions. So first of all, these Totsis didn't have any weapons. It was strictly hand-to-hand cops. No, so one of, one of them was saying that they had a gun, but uh, I don't, you don't really believe. One guy threw a brick at another guy and he dodged it. So... <laughs> brick City. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> it, wasn't, it, wasn't in, it wasn't in Brixton. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm glad you're okay, bro. I'm glad you're okay. Every time Yo, you dude, I'm also to, glad, bro. To you or like, you know, just your friends or something. Just Not like, only that, oh. dude. I mean, I'm starting a new job. I mean, I'm glad I have all my stuff. Also, yeah. my nose, my I'm not my nose is not broken. The all money that, maker you know? is still okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> bro. You gotta protect the thing, you know. <laughs> it's literally like the only thing going for you because your arms fucked, your feet are fucked. <laughs> I've got I've, I've got a mukawa. <laughs> 
<laughs> you I need this, at, bro. You don't want to look at your lungs after all the smoking you've been doing. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so the money maker needs to do its work. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, you start uh, to be like a raster painting. <laughs> 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 Uh, that, that's how I look, bro. Saturday morning, like, you look like a raster painting. Like a raster painting. <laughs> Yo, you has one rough bubble ass, bro. Yo, <laughs> that's funny, bro. Like raster paintings, like South Africans after they get mugged. <laughs> yeah, Beyonce and Jay Z, uh, especially Beyonce. This movie, head. yeah, she looks Yo. like she's been a victim of GPV, bro. What Jay Z? What you been she, doing, she bro? Look, <laughs> she looks, she looks like Jessica and Cosi, bro. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, that's funny. Yes, see. Oh man. Okay. Speaking of which, let's should we start the show, man. Start the show. So, so why aren't we talking enough about ramifications of depression? Uh yeah, Gav, why don't we don't talk enough about depression, bro? Yeah, because it's, it's it's not that it's taboo, but it's just it's hard to say that you're not okay or that you're depressed or sad. Yeah, I don't know. I I I think if you are going to talk about depression, talk to your therapist. <laughs> exactly. You can't willingly talk to anybody because somebody could... Yeah, we're not... Prof- <laughs> yeah. We don't, we're not professionals at this, dude. We don't know how to deal with it. That's yeah. why it's difficult for society to talk about it because everyone's like, you know, talk about depression, talk about depression. Then there's these idiots who just, you know, they're sad for a bit and then they say, oh, I'm depressed, I'm depressed, I'm depressed <laughs> all the time to get like, out. You know, so, you know, where do you, where do you, how do you determine who's chasing clout and who's actually depressed, you know? Yeah, no, it comes down to therapy. And it's weird that medical aid doesn't cover therapy, I think. I'm stand corrected. Um, I don't know if they actually cover therapy. I think some do if you pay extra. Yeah, so that's um, the problem. It should be. They do. Not, it shouldn't be. Not that it's a basic necessity, but you know, it's like it's nice to have a, a therapist. But I mean, we we do have social workers, and I think our communities need to to use our social workers a lot more. You know. Uh, yeah but also our, our social work is strange you know yeah That's the thing. but a professional bona fide therapist you went to therapy after your accident and that helped right i did i did but it helped a lot i mean it not only helped me with with the trauma from the accident it also helped me with my personal issues in terms of self-growth you know yeah and so this, this, you know i had a great step to move forward yeah exactly i mean i could have fallen in like a deep rut after the accident you know Especially of being like, you know, because you get all this, this love and help at the beginning of your accident. And then when you start, like when I started walking and started being able a bit more independent, all of that kind of slowly disappeared. And I could have easily fallen into like, oh, yeah, nobody wants to be there for me anymore. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. And having a therapist, just it just gives you a more, it's more about self-love, bro, and, and understanding yourself, you know. So, yeah, it sounds like you get a good perspective on your life, on life. Just like yeah, I mean, you start un- you unlearn things. I mean, like Nelson Gola especially who talks a lot about unlearning. Mm. That's the whole point of therapy is to unlearn a lot of your like predisposed conditions. You know. Yeah, and also with therapy, someone once said, and I thought it was so true that you you can talk without guilt. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So if yes, I talk, exactly. even if you're my, my homie for years, you can't really talk without guilt, man, because you there's a, a part of you that are afraid of judgment, afraid of what the other person might think. So I yeah. like that. There's there's always a there's always a bias when you're mm. talking to someone who you have a relationship with, whether it's your mom, your brother, your sister, your friend, there's a relationship. With your therapist, this person's almost like a stranger. It's like, I guess it's like you know, your old men who go to bars, they who just talk to the bartender or to the guy next to them. That was a form of therapy. But I, I mean, oh, the alcohol yeah. is there as well. But that's not really the, the good part of the therapy. The good part of the therapy is talking, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice to do with alcohol in your therapist's room. Huh? <laughs> Want a shot of tequila before we start? Hell yeah. <laughs> you know the worst thing though my therapist was quite cute so I started having feelings for her over some time and catching feelings what's it, what was it called it's called um, Stockholm Syndrome 
when your your um, person who kidnaps you, you start catching feelings for them. That's what Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that that's what Stockholm syndrome is. What yeah. what is it when you fall in love with you when you're with your therapist? <laughs> It, I don't know. I don't know if it's called anything. I think you just like things, maybe. <laughs> well, it's just well, it's desperation. It's desperation. It's just you being horny, bro, for a person that's listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it happens. I mean, even, there's even a term for therapists falling in love with their patients. They make you good. It a term for uh, falling for no. your Capital. therapist. <laughs> There's actually a term in psychoanalytic literature that refers to a patient's feelings about his other known as transference. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Transferred. Oh, okay. Hmm. Transference. Transference, yeah. I thought that's when you use a USB stick. <laughs> <laughs> I like to stick my USB in yours. <laughs> Uh, did you tell, is that what you tell your, US, your therapist, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I came to offload my memory. <laughs> 16 gigabytes, fella. <laughs> She'd be like, no, you, you're carrying viruses. <laughs> Let me scan that quickly if we take that. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> before we go, um, I saw this article obviously about uh, depression and whatnot. And apparently, you can call a suicide hotline if you're feeling if you want to talk to somebody if you're feeling suicidal. Yeah, Man, yeah, yeah. Imagine working at that. Imagine that's your job, bro. Answering phone calls for people who are suicidal and you need for to people talk about to, them. to kill you. Dude, Imagine that the pressure, center. bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Imagine they start calling you, bro. So have you checked up on your depression lately? <laughs> <laughs> so do you have five minutes of your time? Well, no, I don't have much time left because you know, I'm about to go. Yeah, also if you're bad at that job, that's not a good place to be bad at your job. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they definitely shouldn't hire guys. They definitely shouldn't hire guys from sh- insurance companies <laughs> to work for depression not lives, bro. <laughs> don't kill yourself. So have you heard of our shirts? New deal. <laughs> there's, a, there's a better way than going out like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, just, I think that must be a cool workplace. Not a cool work, but interesting. Just an interesting workplace to be in. Yeah, the depression hotline. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, th- I mean, in terms of this article, like I mean, this whole Anele, Anele team, apparently her funeral was on TV or some shit like that. Bro. And I was like, why? Yeah, hey man. She, at the end of the day, she was just AKA's girlfriend or oh, fiance. Sorry. Yeah, dude, you claim to mm-hmm. be famous for being AKA's girlfriend. Mm. Yeah. The father was saying that she wasn't. And also, they couldn't confirm whether she really had. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm saying they couldn't confirm whether she really had mental health issues or not. Yeah, um, the father was saying the father's blaming alcohol and drugs. Oh shit! What wonder what alcohol was it? Was it that AKA Cruz banana flavored <laughs> vodka? All right, man. Let's let's just get out of here. Before this gets messy. <laughs> Yo. No, wait, wait, wait. There's something else I want to discuss. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this statistic. This statistic. South Africa has a suicide mortality rate of ten point seven per hundred thousand people, which is higher than the comparable rate for Botswana, Egypt, Malawi, and Nigeria. And I think the reason why. Uh, Botswana, Egypt, Malawi aren't as high as our in Nigeria's house because we have skyscrapers. <laughs> it's hard to jump off a hut, <laughs> it's hard to jump off a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, bro. Wow, uh, <laughs> and Lake Malawi. I don't know how many guys are trying to drown themselves in Lake Malawi. Um, <laughs> I think with Nigeria, it's probably quite easy. You just have to go to a BP refinery and try and steal their oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> start, start, uh, <laughs> Nigerian beef. Oh, wow. Yeah, but South Africa is still lower than these countries. Check this out. Angola, Cameroon, and Swaziland. Swaziland? Uh, shit. What? Yeah, I was like, how the hell do they... 
Did they just go tell King Swati, fuck off, and then out? <laughs> it's a death sentence. Yeah, well, that's why I said, fuck <laughs> off. Mm. <laughs> Tired of his life. Mm. <laughs> Angola and Cameroon, I don't know how. Maybe because there's so many guns and stuff like that. Like Places like Angola where there's a bit of like civil war and stuff. Well, not a civil war, but all this conflict. I've mm-hmm. always wondered, if you commit suicide, but what if you commit suicide and you believe in reincarnation? And then what happens? Isn't that like a cop out? Like I... <laughs> it's like for you, it's just like resetting the computer, right? Just pulling out the plug and putting it. It's just pressing Control Alt Delete. <laughs> yes. Check Task Manager. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> so suicide, I'm gonna go to heaven, or oh, it's gonna be done. But if you believe in reincarnation, like ah, let me try something else. I wanna, I wanna start again. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Well, according to the Bible, suicide is an automatic ticket to hell. So, yes, I've uh, heard that before. But yeah, that's not a fact. Yeah, it's quite crazy. I mean, suicide is quite interesting for me because I mean, I mean, I have a lot of jokes about suicide. Also, like I was a victim of suicide, not my own. Also, no, I actually was suicidal at one point in my life when I was at, at Vitz, and when I went to therapy there as well, they made me sign a contract. Yeah. And this contract basically states that, you know, you promise to these people that you won't kill, kill yourself. And it makes, it actually gives you a realization like shit, these people's names that I'm putting down, they feel these people that matter to you or they care yeah. about you, their lives are going to be affected by your decision. Yeah. So once you, once that, once you see that contract and you sign it, it almost kind of stops you, you know? Yeah. Because you're like, okay, I've got a responsibility, you know? Yeah. So... Yeah, suicide does affect you, obviously, family, friends. Do you know anybody that has committed suicide? Um, I mean, I know some family members, not family members, like family friends. There's this girl, this Sri Lankan girl who moved to Australia. She killed herself recently. Um, also some guys in Mephi gang, but those guys are dealing with a lot of drugs. Drugs are a big problem, bro. Um, I think a lot of people get depressed and they feel it, but... They can't, they don't act on it, but the drug makes them push them over and say, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I remember I was, a, I was in high school and my, my aunt's husband at the time, like kind of my uncle, uh, he committed suicide, took a gun and blew his brains out, bro. Shit. Did you see it or anything? You just heard about uh, it? I didn't see it, but apparently my, my cousins, he had kids and they were like, Young as well. They so they walked into the room. So how hectic is that, bro? Yo. That's hectic. That's I know there was a guy in our school who um took because the PE department used to have uh in this rope for tug of war uh yeah. for like inter-house competitions and shit like that. So this one kid in the hospital went and asked to borrow it or took it out, signed it out, the rope, yeah. acting like he's gonna use it for a tug of war thing. And then he hung himself in the rugby pole, or I think, yeah. At the school rugby fields, so yeah, suicide was is so dramatic, bro. The way you have to kill yourself, man, hey, that's hectic, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, I just, I just eat McDonald's every day, man. That's that's that, that's my suicide. It's just slow suicide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even <laughs> cigarettes, bro. Yeah, every cigarettes, puff. alcohol. I don't know, yo, not to hang myself. Yeah, toxic toxic relationships. <laughs> Just get into a toxic relationship. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll shave a couple of years off your life. Quick, fast. <laughs> Quick, fast, bro. Toxic relationships. Oh. <laughs> you really don't value your life. Get into one of those, bro. <laughs> Just get in a taxi. <laughs> Order a bolt and see what happens. <laughs> or buy a bottle of tankery and walk out the club to your yeah. room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you walk with your cell phone and brown tape. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, bro. You really want to. I remember there was an incident in, in Brahm as well. Some chick who jumped off a building and they saw her like trying, like standing there for a while and they put mattresses on the bottom. Mm. But uh, yeah, I don't think, I think there were, there were res mattresses and not that silly posturepedic that would have saved your life. <laughs> It would have caused more damage than the concrete, bro. 
<laughs> the spring the spring stabs you bro. Ah! Ah! my eye <laughs> in my eye when you get to heaven and you have all these uh wires <laughs> through your body and god asks what happened to you it's like yo man i got a spring in my step <laughs> uh staying on the topic with uh death um here's the average life expectancy in south africa right now and the top three health conditions among the elderly you know so this article just basically stuff from stats essay from 2002 to 2020 um, life expectancy for males has increased from 59.9 years to 64.6 and for females it's gone from 67.2 to 71.3 why why do you think women outlive men women don't take as much risks as men they in generally more safe with uh well i think when they say i do that's the biggest risk <laughs> <laughs> you know so it's also depressing like according to this uh, article we halfway there bro yeah that's true eh? <laughs> yeah. shit i need to move out of i need to move out of south africa quickly bro i'm like yo, I'm already, with I'm the life halfway. Uh, <laughs> yo dude <laughs> shit we're actually i'm actually more than halfway good god Good God. <laughs> Towards the end of my life. <laughs> uh, what have and I there's done? the distribution. This is the distribution of total population and persons aged 60 years and older by province from 2015 to 2020. Mm-hmm. So where where do most of the elderly people lie? So they're mostly in Gauteng. But that's also because Gauteng has a higher population than everyone else. Mm-hmm. Uh, KZN is also quite high. And it's quite interesting. We're talking about the elderly here. Um how do I get out of this now? Oh shit, I can't get out of this. Let's go back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because the elderly are now the eligible for the vaccine. Eh? You saw. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they, they're eligible now. They, they can register and stuff. If you're over 60, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Are you gonna are you gonna tell your grand grandparents or your grandma to to get the <laughs> vaccine? I've got beef with my grandmother, so I will not <laughs> encourage that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on whether you're an anti-vaxxer or a vaxxer. If you're an anti-vaxxer, you must tell her, take the fucking vaccine. <laughs> yeah. what, what side of the fence do I stand on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your... Get all those side effects, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> where, where are your folks, by the way, in Sri Lanka? No, no, they're in Mephi Gang, bro. Yeah, and then, you were there for her birthday the other day. How old is your mom, bro? Yeah, yeah. 60. I think she just turned 60. Oh, so you're going to Are you going to hook her up or tell her to just get the thing? Uh, I think it's their choice, bro. I'm not one of those people to encourage or discourage what you choose to put in your body. It's your body. Um, I put some all sorts of shit in my body that yeah. shouldn't be there. And I don't like people telling me what to do. So I'm not going to go tell people. It's your Whether body. Should it's mm. your body. So, I personally don't support vaccines. I think your body can build up an immune system and create its own antibodies by catching the disease. I think vaccines, yeah, yeah sure, they helped over the years, but history is also created by those who won. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> uh-huh. You are a winner, chicken dinner. Um, um what time yeah. do you wanna um clock out bro kick, kick the bucket yeah what age do i want to kick the bucket yeah what age yeah man i i think once i get to seven if, if i get to 75 i'll be content i think three quarters of a century that's okay that's about 40 that's more years too bad. give or take yeah yeah nice. okay i mean if i hit 80 i'll, I'll be yo i'll be over the moon but I don't see myself like, I mean, especially since life expectancy in South Africa is 60 fucking five. What? That's so low, bro. 65. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we die young here, South bro. Africa is dangerous, bro. Because, I mean, you think about places like Japan where, where people live up to like 90, 100. Mm-hmm. South Africa, that the crime thing is violent. It's hectic out here, bro. The Bad alcohol, healthcare, the all that. Yeah. Drunk exactly, but safe, unsafe roads. Yeah, so, yeah. But this is what we are dying of. Oh yeah, that's an interesting. Uh, yeah, 
diseases of the circulatory system. That's, uh, I'm guessing, heart disease. Symptoms and signs not elsewhere classified. I don't know what that means. Is that like <laughs> voodoo? <laughs> Some gomas? <laughs> Witchcraft. Ah, Limpopo. Let's just say Limpopo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is a neoplasm, bro? Do you know? A neoplasm is an abnormal growth of cells. Okay, so it's like a tumor or cancer. So people are dying of like cancers and tumors. Okay. What do you want to die of? That's a hectic question. Out of all of these. Yeah, I think um, I could choose a way to die. Which way would I go? Um I don't know. I just as long as there's morphine in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> morphine overdose. There you go. <laughs> morphine overdose. That's a good way to go, bro. It's... And you, what would you choose? <laughs> Yo, bro. I don't want pain. I don't want to be in hospital for long. Those are my two things. Like, I don't want to, like, slowly wither away in a fucking hospital. Yeah, that's true, eh? Mm. Uh, but uh, dude, I mean, pain is pain, but you're gonna eventually feel it. There's no ways. But uh, difference between uh, being hit by a car or being hit by or being eaten by a shark, you know, that's those true. Are, eh? Those are two different pains. <laughs> or being hit by a shark alone. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, that could be both. That could be the car and the fucking shark. <laughs> they hit you with your own car before they resist it. <laughs> <laughs> with your own polo. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Uh. Yeah, no. So yeah, those are my two requirements. No pain, no hospital. But yeah. Don't know. How would I would die. No pain, no hospital. But but yeah. but the hospital is almost inevitable because I mean, if something's happened to you while you're old, they'll take you to the hospital to try. Yeah, and, yeah, no, I, I, I see that happening. Yeah, but like, I, don't, I, I say that I don't, I don't want a disease because then you always go to the hospital for some shit, right? Like a fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I'd rather, like, uh, I'd rather it's sudden, you know. I, I don't like mind if just one if day a, if a kidney fails and I'm like my eighties, you know, and I'm like. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like you're working in the garden, and all of a sudden you get a heart attack, ah, and you die there. <laughs> cool, you know. <laughs> But next thing, like, let's say you're in the kitchen, you're coughing blood, they're like, we must take you to the hospital. Then you're in the hospital. And hey, that thing, hey. bruh, that thing, ish, no. You've got six months. <laughs> then you start making heroin and selling it. <laughs> Yo, yeah, like, so see, so these are the diseases that you could potentially get in SA if, uh, before you die or whatever. Like, I think the highest is high blood pressure, bro. That's it's all those slap chips. Yeah. No, it's the slap chips, Munna. It's the slap chips. Yeah, and, and lack of exercise. Fed cook, bro. Yeah. Mm. yeah, unhealthy living. I'm actually surprised HIV and AIDS is so low. Like yeah. You think a country that's been ravaged by HIV and AIDS is it's quite 2%. Yeah, but I think the, the condom thing, I think people have been educated now about HIV and wearing a condom. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. Diabetes is the... Second highest, eh? Hey, diabetes. That sugar, is, man. Hey, that sugar is killing us, bro. And they'll never change it. They'll make they made Coca Cola more expensive and put less in it, but it's not really a solution. Yeah, it's so stupid. They they just reduced the volume of the bottle and said we reduced the sugar. No, you haven't. Fuck yeah. the formula, it's still the same. <laughs> you just reduced the content. It's, yeah. So instead of three forty, three thirty, ah, we reduced it. Yeah, stupid. processed sugar, man. It's just killing us. Yo. Yeah, and then arthritis is third. Arthritis. 15.6%. That's when your bones start fucking out, yeah? Yeah. Your joints. Yeah, you start getting that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I potentially might get that because apparently once you've been... <laughs> Statue. Once you've been <laughs> amputated. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Statue. Yeah, once you've been amputated, you could trigger arthritis. So I think that's what the nurse told me in the hospital. She was like, you may just get arthritis later on in your life. So, Ish. shit. Yo, bro. Yeah, yeah no, you have to, you have to be super healthy. Eh? 
Mm. But it's also, it's it's kind of interesting though as well because sometimes you can meet health freaks or hear hear about health freaks who didn't touch a cigarette or didn't do any sort of nothing yep. and they just suddenly die. Yep, 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 so yep. I just think when it's your time, it's your time. And we did an article once, a guy who was like he was hundred years old or something who was smoking still, and like it was like yeah, people that smoke until they they hundred. It's yeah, it does make sense. Yeah, I think it's more of a it's a mental consciousness thing. So, mm-hmm. like, what you fear is what you attract, you know. Mm-hmm. So, I, I if you're agree. scared of high blood pressure, and you're scared, you you're attracted. I just got reminded that accident you were in that was suicide, wasn't it? That guy was kind of committing suicide. It was suicide. Yeah. Did he die? That guy committed suicide. Yeah. Well, he used. He did. He did. He was. He had a good. He had a success rate there. Hundred percent success rate. Why? It wasn't did he a, commit suicide? Did you know? Um, so what the what the police what the police said was that he apparently had a dispute with his mistress and his wife, and he told the wife that <laughs> look, he's going to kill himself. His mistress and, and his wife. This guy was cheating. Men not trash. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was he was cheating, and so what happens is he stole the motorbike from his brother, and that's when he he called them and said he's going to kill himself. He may have been on drugs. I don't know. He may have been suffering from mental health, like depression. So. And then, yeah, he chose to take his life. Okay, so you're you, my toes. You've, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. You've looked suicide face to face, bro. Not yeah, yeah. Face, yeah, bro. Damn, bro. You seen the consequences? It, 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 it came. It came to me on a Friday in the evening <laughs> at six, bro. It's <laughs> staring in the face. Yeah, uh, and it's also interesting. I'm also from a country. I'm also from a country where well, I was born in a country where suicide is quite rife. Well, suicide bombings and shit like that, you know. Oh, so, suicide bombings, of course. Yeah, those motherfuckers are like, yeah. <laughs> no, they're, they're not in Sri Lanka, no. <laughs> that's uh that's the Middle East, not South South Asia. Oh, all right, okay. What do they say when they when they <laughs> Jump ship when they do the thing. I have no idea, but they probably say in, in Tamil or Sinhalese. I don't know. It's... <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe their favorite cricket player. Salam Jai Surya! Boom! Oh, bro, who was that spinner you guys had, bro? Fuck, like the greatest off spinner. Would I have Yes. It's a, it's a mouthful to say before you kill yourself. You know, it's yeah. an easier one. Chamin de Vaz! So, sticking with the theme today, Stogie T lashes out at Rasta for botched portrait of hip hop icon DMX. <laughs> um, do yo, you see you, that picture? He's showing the DMX, bro. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> wait, wait, where is it? Where is it? I think this is it, you. Yeah. When I saw it, bro, I was like, this guy, it looks like KRS One, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it is, bro. Can you see it? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I salute whoever drew this. What is that picture over there? Which one? The one of Rasta and the picture next to him. To the right, to the right. Ah, oh, no, you got it. This one. No. So is this Rasta when he was young? Okay, so. Oh, I see. And this is this is supposed to be DMX. No, this is not DMX, bro. This is. <laughs> this is KRS. This is KRS one, bro. <laughs> Wrong rapper, bro. Do you think it is insulting? <laughs> yeah. Do you think Stu GT has a point? I don't know, bro. Like I mean. Rust has been doing this. He became famous because of of this abstract. I mean, this is abstract in his eyes. You know, it's like Picasso. Picasso's shit wasn't the best looking shit. Yeah, but it was different. So I guess yeah. because anybody can do. I mean, a lot of every, every Tom, Dick, and Harry have like some sort of talent in terms of drawing portraits. So you can go down the street and see a guy at the robot, and he mm. can sketch an amazing portrait of you also why are we doing portraits by you, you ever heard of a photocopying machine or a printer <laughs> you can do that now bro so is it really photo. art you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can take a photo bro <laughs> yeah so i wonder, I wonder, I wonder if, but the thing is he makes money from this obviously he's not doing this for free 
So it's also cool. Hey man, I would love to have a, ra- a Rasta painting, bro. Yeah, real talk. Yeah, I mean, if you could get a Rasta, that shit yeah. hanging in your house, you and your girl, be a nice one as well. Hmm. Yeah. Not even me. I mean, even if it's just someone like a like Dave, I'll ask him to. I'll give him a picture of Dave Chappelle. Say, look, man, make me one of these ones <laughs> in my room. Won't well, look like Dave. <laughs> It's not gonna look like Dave. Like Dave it's gonna look like to be stop nonsense, bro. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. you tell him is this, and you tell him stop nonsense, and he's like, "What? What do you mean?" Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Oh, so funny, man. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Record, uh, so I, I guess Dogi T, yeah, I mean, I think he's more. Sorry, you, you also want one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's not it's not his talent or skill of being able to do it. It's, I guess it's just the fame behind the fact that mm. he, um, you know, does it. Yeah. No, if it looked. Exactly um, so what like I was saying was, I, I think Stogie. It would have been. We wouldn't. No one would pay him t- attention. We wouldn't yeah. care. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. People wouldn't pay him attention. He, the reason why he's, he 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 got this trend is because of his ability to do it so badly. And I don't know if he's intentionally doing it. And if he is intentionally doing it, that's a that's crazy talent to intentionally <laughs> skew a portrait. That's that's crazy talent, bro. It's, yeah. And an it's artist, like the news. <laughs> the art. The art. The, the, and the art life. Being an artist. Now broke you out when you're an artist, bro. Yo, that shit is hardcore. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. So if you can make money from this and get famous or infamous, infamous, yeah, it's, it's all good, man. It's not hurting anybody. Mm. Yeah. Stoogie T. Yeah. Dude, yeah, there's a whole bunch of people roasting him here. I think some people even, uh, I think yeah, if you see here, uh, it's an appearance crime you've committed. <laughs> That's one person said. Let's actually see the comments. So look at this one. So I salute you to do this. Someone did a portrait of Frasta here. Yeah. <laughs> yo, squint eyes. Someone says, looks like Tom Po, bro. Yo, yo, what a throwback. <laughs> ah, ah. I even forgot what Tom Po looked like, bro. <laughs> Taken, right? No, from, uh, is it Bloodsport? One of those... Fun oh, movies. that fun dumb movie, yo. Yeah. Tompo. This is Rasta comparing his drawing to the US <laughs> dollar. I don't know. <laughs> Katanda, that's funny. Katanda. Who's that? Katanda. Is that soccer Zimbabwe soccer player who plays for Chiefs, I think. Oh. <laughs> yo, black Twitter is woke, yo. Well, yo, bro. The conversation is so it's funny. Fun. Definition of last time. <laughs> open that picture. And it's a Remington gold cigarette inside a dungeon. <laughs> yo, that's mean, yo. I need to answer you washing your eyeball. <laughs> washing your eye, bro. <laughs> uh, These memes are so funny, bro. Yo. Mm. <coughs> Yo, that's funny also. Yo, Tabo Man Becky. <laughs> it looks like. Ah, <laughs> this is a no, 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 better. It's funny, bro. Originality is something <laughs> to really appreciate. Yeah, ne. <laughs> Why would you Photoshop Even... that Messi? <laughs> Messi, bro, that in the Pakistani fan, bro. <laughs> You can draw shit. <laughs> yo, 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 no. <laughs> yo, what's up? This is ridiculous, bro. Yeah, anyway. But we've, 
we spoken about Rasta before. Oh shit! Sorry. Yeah, we. Yeah, I remember that thing beginning of lockdown. I can't remember who they did. Who he did? I think someone. Yeah. People have been dying. So every time someone dies, he <laughs> paints them. Oh, that was. Imagine that was... he did that at comedy clubs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get a self portrait if you die. <laughs> remember this night. Yo, that's funny. You remember bro. it forever, bro. Yo, that's funny. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, I would have a lot of self portraits. <laughs> yeah, I know at Shakers, a lot of guys would be coming there. With, <laughs> Rasta would be busy there. Anyway, so uh, going to the Middle East now, some international news. Afghanistan, we have won the, mo- the war. America has lost, says Taliban. Um, yeah, this is another BBC article, so I'm not surprised by their propaganda and <laughs> them encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you guys more about. Do you know how old the war no. was? No, how old was? Twenty years. Twenty years. Was it really a war, or was it just America going to go take the opium? <laughs> <You know? laughs> Whatever you want to call it, bro. Whatever <laughs> euphemism you want to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should this article should have been Afghanistan. We have lost the opium, but we have the Kush. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, brother, AK-47, boy. Afghanistan, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, man. Well, it's done. I guess it's done. 20 years later, it's done. They got what they needed. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to be... I thought it was supposed to be done when they found Bin Laden in a cave. That's <laughs> <laughs> at his house he was watching porn apparently is that what he was doing yeah they found porn on his computer yeah. that's what they told us right mm. what was I wonder Laden's... what kind of porn it was bro. <laughs> yeah, what kind porn. of porn do you think Bin Laden was watching <laughs> what kind of category is this into bro yo <laughs> so what's your midget <laughs> midget POV bro <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. America. They got other they got um, more bigger problems now than Afghanistan, I think, as well. Yeah, they've got their own little racial wars going on in Turkey I mean, and all those mass shootings. Yeah, and the the, you know? vir- the virus as well is fucking up the economy and all that shit. You know, yeah, apparently it was, a mess, man. it was like one trillion dollars a year or some shit for this war. Yeah, no, the war, war uh, you know, it's it's a it's good business, bro. So if you are a weapons company or an infrastructure company or a construction. You need these wars to keep continuing so you can have business. Bro. So, Yo. Damn it. I mean, mm-hmm. think about it. I mean, if you're a weapons company, how do you stay in business if there's no war? World peace is a, will stop your business, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's wars. like security companies in South Africa. They yeah. love crime. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> Yo, that's so true, bro. Yo. Chop, Chop doesn't want to be skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, rent a cop. Yo, that's a dangerous job, there, bro. Being those rent. Yeah, cop. bro. Yo, because when you get that alarm call with those security guards. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, who are those guys? ADT that wear ADT, those, those soldier yeah. uniforms and the soldier hats. Yeah, because they're going to war. Talking about speaker wars, they're going to war. Yeah, in the suburbs of South Africa, bro. Yeah, there's war here already, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, man. Make, make love, not war. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. I know this article talks about women finally being able to go to school as long as they wear a hijab. But like I said, this is BBC, so... <laughs> I take this with a pinch of salt. You know? <laughs> I mean, they won't they won't talk about Prince Philip in this flight. They won't talk about the wars Prince Philip said, let's go into, you know. <laughs> so. That's so true. Yeah, bro. Okay. We've got to find more ob- uh, ob- objective um, 
<laughs> Where's uh, Al Jazeera? Al Jazeera. Yeah, we're gonna start using the dark web, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Al Jazeera, yeah. <laughs> Al Jazeera is pretty objective, right? I don't know. Well, I, I think SABC is quite objective. <laughs> <laughs> Shame, bro. That's why Twitter is the best, bro. Twitter is the most legit place to find news because it's mouth <laughs> to mouth. If I see something, I record it, I tell you, you know. Yeah. There's no di- there's no editor saying change this, change that. We can't do this. Government said we can't put that. Yeah. It's me and you saying, look what we saw. This is what it is, you know. Yeah, that's true. Eh? So. It's unfiltered. Yeah, exactly. Well, Twitter is filtering now, but back then. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, man, we can bounce. We can leave. We can get out of Afghanistan. <laughs> we can unoccupy their lands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so last but not least, going from war in the Middle East to the race war, uh, video games <laughs> seeks to fight racism by putting players in the shoes of a black father. Oh, by Omar Yunus. Um, <laughs> this game is just basically using VR tech to let white people learn empathy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell, man? I'm going to play this game, bro. I choose Eddie Goro from Tekken, bro. That, that's, that's good enough, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I can empathize with the Rasta breakdancer. <laughs> to make oh, that's it. funny. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious <laughs> yeah but I just think it's amazing that they need VR to teach <laughs> to make people unlearn how to be how to be racist it's just you know whatever average education <laughs> you know <laughs> I like it think out of the box games do suck you in bro what's that game Last of Us they're thinking out of out of the Xbox <laughs> 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 oh, yo, bro. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Yeah, you spoke about Last of Us. Last of Us is one of my fa- Last of Us is one of my favorite games, bro. What's the storyline in the Last of Us? This is a quick synopsis. I've never played it. So it's basically a a guy loses his daughter when a a disease that spreads and turns people into like flesh flesh eating monsters. Basically, like zombie a zombie apocalypse. But how the zombie apocalypse works, it's not, you don't turn by getting bitten, you turn by inhaling these spores that are released from the bodies of <coughs> of these uh, cool. zombies. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So now... But the storyline is intense because basically what happens is he, you basically play the character that has to take patient, not patient zero, but a girl who's kind of Im- immune to these spores. Okay. And she, he almost develops a, like a father daughter a father daughter relationship with her uh, because yeah. he didn't let go of his daughter sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you feel like educated, but the the, the, the physics in the game is with the characters. Oh well, the storyline was amazing, dude, and it does give you perspective in terms of because, like, it's like what would you do in that situation, you know, if you yeah. lost your child and. Shit like that. You know. Exactly. I guess it, it, it kind of does. I mean, if you if you're feeling if you ever feel emotional in a movie or a game and stuff, it shows that you have more empathy than most people. If you, I mean, if you don't cry watching a movie, like if, I mean, if you look, like for example, if you don't cry when Mufasa died, then you have no soul, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can say. It. <laughs> you're or you a daddy issues, you know? You're a psychopath. <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So in this game, you bl- you're a black father, you know, and the police are the zombies that you need to. <laughs> I well, yeah. It doesn't really explain the detail of this game, but it mm-hmm. yeah, it does say that you uh, put in a VR as a black father, and you gotta deal with scenarios of having mm-hmm. to deal with racial injustices. Yeah. Did you watch? You must watch this movie. It's a short film on. On Netflix called uh, "Don't Be a Stranger." Two strangers or something. Uh, it's two strangers. It's, no, not don't. <laughs> it's with Joey Badass, bro. You, yes. you saw it. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Where he, where he wakes it. up, dude. Check it out. It's fucking dope, bro. It's fucking dope. It's like yeah. almost like a tribute to all the the people in America who were shot by the police or who died for being black. You know. Damn. So, 
Damn. Oh, he's going to win the Oscar then. Joey Badass. The movie. It's nominated for Best Short Film. It's a short film, man. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Shit, I didn't know that. That's dope. Hmm. That's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy when the when the movie was going on, I was like, this this guy looks like Joey Badass. <laughs> and then when the credits came up, it said Joey Badass. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, bro. You're like, yeah, you didn't want to believe in yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, that, not only that, uh, P. Diddy produced it, which is pretty cool, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's yeah. cool. Okay. All right, that mm. shit. That's nice. What do you think? What, what do you think the name of this game is going to be, bro? Um, uh, um, it's a good question. Black Lives Matter. Uh, Fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the police. NWA. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Yo, who who will survive in America? <laughs> who will survive in America? That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, unconscious to... bias. Unconscious bias. <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. did you did you see? Ugh, like always happening, but yeah, in America, there's another. There was another shooting. This woman. This. Female yeah, that's cop. what I'm saying, dude. They've got their own war, bro. It's yeah, cool. yeah. And the dude, she, she shot him, and she now she's saying she thought she was using a taser. She got it confused. Ah, dude. I dude. told you there's been a gun and a taser. Yo, 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 yo. It's stupid, man. Yeah, stupid, man. No. Yeah. I mean, wasn't there also a kid who shot up a grocery store? A uh, black kid or white kid? White kid. White kid, yeah. Should make that game to make us empathize. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they do. It's called GTA. Yeah, they do have that <laughs> game. It's cool. <laughs> I was going to say Duke Nukem or Doom. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. We thought about the same joke. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Mm. Wrap it up. I know I know they were trying to ban so games, violent games back in the back in the day. They were trying to ban games because they were saying these games encourage violence. Um but I disagree. I don't think it's the games, I just think it's the parenting. Yeah, I know the, the game thing is just that's a stupid bureaucracy, man. That's makes no sense, dude. Yeah. Um it's, it's like when they said Pokemon. You what you believe in the devil if you yeah watch Pokemon some shit yeah. like that yeah 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 I remember that that was a real thing I remember that was in like mm. the Not the U magazine yeah mm. there's the Kirk, uh, mm. agenda by the Kirk. <laughs> and the <Kirk. laughs> Pikachu is Satan bro. yeah <laughs> and Ash is Judas. <laughs> 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 uh, that's funny, right? Yo, mm. Maybe we'll wrap it up, man. You know, so we'll look out for this game, eh? Yeah, yeah. We'll see what it's. But I mean, we gotta get the VR goggles, and I ain't about that. No, we can't afford that shit. So. <laughs> you know, you can use that shit for porn, bro. <laughs> Yeah, look, I mean, even playing this game is going to be a, a white privilege, so. Um, <laughs> so I, I guess it's for, it is for the right target market. Yeah, it's true. Because uh, <laughs> me, I'll just watch porn if I get VR. You're like, <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I'd do. Or like, or like tour cities and walk around the cities to see what they're like. Because I'm going to put a plane ticket in as a travel band. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine doing comedy with VR, dude. Yo, that's scary if technology gets to that, bro. That's some black mirror shit, bro. 
where, where basically you hold your, you have your microphone, you put your VR on, and people who want to watch you put their VR on, so that people you seeing all the people watching, yeah. you, and you're doing your comedy. That's not it's not bad if if the feedback is like immediate. It's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, and the audience they yeah. feel like they're sitting in a club, a comedy club or a theater show. Exactly. Yeah. They can look around. They can see the person Crazy. sitting next to them. They can see in the stage you standing on the stage. It's like yeah. that'll be dope, actually. It's, Let's patent that shit, bro. Make a game or a VR tech for that. And <laughs> we can be rich for the rest of our lives, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yo. Yeah. <clears throat> Can't win the lottery if you don't play, bro. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it's not a bad idea. Let's actually find some tech, tech giant and say, look, man, let's make a stand-up comedy thing and then like you can even get all the specials recorded onto those vr things so you can make people feel as if they're sitting in theaters mm-hmm. watching some of the greatest comics on stage you know yeah i've noticed that what people miss most since the pandemic since lockdown is live entertainment exactly and vr is the only way to get people to feel like they're immersed yeah vr is the best mm-hmm. way to make it cl- the closest thing to make it as live yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's VR six games already where if you defeat a dragon, you get to, you get to, you get the the honey and you get to fuck the honey or whatever. Is it? Eh? So, Damn it! Mm, mm. This is consensual. So yeah. then you get the after, <laughs> after slaying after slaying you get to get slay the queen. I mean, you get the slay queen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it has to be consensual, dude. They have to code it in. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. they're gonna. I mean, you, you want them to code it in, code in rape? What the fuck? <laughs> Wrong game, bro. I guess. <laughs> that's the thing. Another thing, also, I think they could start using VR on criminals, dude. Like people with psychological conditions, to try and get them to unlearn. You know. Yeah. Yeah. VR. I think I've seen that when we're doing research for reformed. They they put VR goggles on inmates and like make them buy groceries. Yes, normal, yes, just to see how they react. Like that. Yes, yes. That's yeah, interesting. yeah, I don't remember. Uh, hmm. Anyway. Okay. Okay, so should we end game here? <laughs> yes. Yes. It's like Thanos. Snap. Cool, thanks, uh, ladies and gents, and everything in between. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thank you yeah. for also our fans who are out there who are constantly liking guys like Emil and Emilio. <laughs> uh, you know, we we appreciate you guys. Uh, book us, shout put out us to on the guys, lineup, please. You know. <laughs> <laughs> book us, Jens. <laughs> you know, this shit is good. We've got content here, bro. We got, <laughs> we got that new, new, yeah, we got that new. new. <laughs> But yeah, thank you. you know, shit, oh, shit is better than Rasta's, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit abstract as well, some of these jokes, bro. I mean, we do have some yeah, exactly, bro. Rasta jokes, bro. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. It, was a, it was actually a deep episode. We talked about death a lot, yeah. man. Yeah, a lot about depression, a lot about serious issues, you know. So we yeah. do we do do things more than just jokes it is of a podcast after all so yeah yeah, yeah man and uh, well, stay woke of, guys yeah, speaking stay of alive death, i'll be at shakers this wednesday um <laughs> <laughs> i'll be flying this wednesday so <laughs> you never know keep safe guys peace peace